In the barbershop, a lot of people ask us about ways to prevent COVID-19. Do you know of any ways that individuals can prevent COVID-19 um, that don't often get talked about? Yeah, so we're dealing with something that is a function of our immune system, right? Whenever we get sick or we're injured or something like that, our immune system is supposed to activate, fight off that invader, and then calm down. Well, the problem is based upon a lot of our conditions, our environment, our medical conditions, we have dysregulated immune systems. And so you know things like obesity, things like diabetes, things like hypertension, things like dyslipidemia. These are all factors that actually dysregulate our immune system. And so if you have these things, it means that you are more susceptible to getting infection or getting worse infections. We know that uh, obesity and diabetes and hypertension, these people tend to get sicker, more often hospitalized. And so what can you do in that situation? Well, what you want to do is put your immune system in the best possible place to succeed. And how can you do that? There are numerous different ways. Number one, exercise. Routine strength training has actually been shown to decrease your risk of getting COVID. And we know this because exercise actually helps to regulate the immune system. It's one of the most profound effectors of the immune system. Number two, get enough sleep. We are a, you know, no sleep, team no sleep, go no sleep, I can't work till I die kind of society. But you need sleep for your hormones to function properly, for your immune system to function properly. Eat nutrient-dense foods. This is the most important thing. A lot of us are eating things that are causing our immune system to activate. Fast food, processed food, a lot of carbohydrates. 65% of the average American's intake of food is processed food. And some of them can be up to 70% of their nutrition from carbohydrates, not enough protein, not enough good fats, not enough vitamins, not enough minerals, that's going to make it very hard for the immune system to do its job. If you're vitamin D deficient, we've seen over and over again, that that is a really strong predictor of very bad COVID outcomes being vitamin D deficient. Same thing if you're low in magnesium, same thing if you're low in zinc. And a lot of these things people are low in because of our nutrition plans. And then the, the final fourth thing that I would say is stress management. I know this is a very uncertain time, but I always tell people, listen, stress always stems from us trying to control things that we have no control over. And most of the things that happen to you in a day, you have no control over. But what you do have control over is how you respond. And so stress mitigation techniques like meditation, like mindfulness, actually are anti-inflammatory. They make us smarter. They help the immune system do what we need to do. And so when I focus on lifestyle medicine, I focus on those four key aspects because they help balance our bodies and they are very important for our immune system function.